Greetings, scholars, and welcome back to our study of Pokemon Blue. I finished grinding. For now. We'll see if I have to go back into it, but... Taking on... Pingan. Again, he wiped my ass last time, just... Hmm. No, no, he wiped my... He wiped the floor with me. Let's go with that one. Oh no. Um. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot easier this time. I don't even think I'm gonna have an issue with it. I've got three, he's got two, one there. Lower level. Ooh. Well, with critical hits, maybe. <laughs> we got a speed match here. Finish him off with tackle. <laughs> Finish him off with tackle, Nidoran! You did a good job, Nidoran. Will I change Pokemon? I might as well. It's still Pidgey. Oh, level 8? This Pidgey's a higher level than his Charmander. What's with that? I should have just gone Bulbasaur. He wouldn't even have Ember at this point, I don't think. It's probably like level 12? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, not much of a challenge. The challenge in that fight is grinding. But even then, you can completely miss it. I think that that's a technique they use in... Oh yeah, here he's teaching you about the Elite Four again. into that. Oh, he doesn't have angry eyebrows, it's just the shape of his hair from that angle. Um... Yeah, you completely miss this. I think it's a strategy in speedruns to actually just not fight Gary there because later on you can be like level 50 or whatever and just one hit him, and then he appears like here a second time, so you fight him twice in a row. Um, and it's just that much faster, I guess. Because, yeah, having to grind to beat him there is the challenge. Oh! Oh, you mean I have to play the game before I can beat it? This is like the Team Rocket hideout song. It's so simple and yet so beautiful. Oh, yes. <laughs> Alright, enough of that. You got, music is game design too. There are games I play just because I like the music. And they're not, like, few and far between. It's, like, every other game I play it just because the music is good. There's usually something else in there, too, but... Um, going into Viridian Forest... I would use Pidgey, but Gust is not a flying attack. Uh... Yeah, flying types. Hmm... Alright, so now we're going on to Viridian City. We're on the road to Viridian- Sorry. <laughs> Shouldn't. I don't think I've talked to this lady yet. Oh, your no- Oh, can I memorize your notes? Pokeballs are used to catch po- Whoa! I didn't know that was that what they were for. Yeah. 
Yes! I want to learn more. Second page. Huh. So they have on paper everything that the... No, they have a little bit more information than the, uh... The guy who teaches you how to catch Pokemon does. Ooh, more information. Third page. Battles are constantly fought. Oh, yeah. That's important. The, the E in Pokemon? <laughs> it's a lowercase. I mean, I don't know if... You... That's a thing, right? You can have capital E's with the accent mark over it, right? I'm American. I know nothing. <laughs> yes, turn in page. Fourth page. Well, for Pokemon trainers is to beat the top eight Pokemon gym leaders. Yeah. Yeah. They they actually tell you a lot about the Elite Four in this one. Oh. I'm trying to learn here too, lady. Yeah, I feel like in future games I kind of just glaze over the. Elite Four and just let you kind of... Like, they bring it up every once in a while, of course, but... It depends. Depends on the game. Pokemon stats changes during battle. I mean, I guess... I know Generation 3 has a Pokemon school as well, but I don't remember if Generation 2 does. It's got to. I think I think all the generations have a some po style of Pokemon school in there somewhere. Mm. Oh, reduces speed in this one too. Wow, burn is effective. Huh. Keep that in mind. Grab a... Might grab a Ninetales later for Will-O-Wisp. Completely immobile. Stays frozen even after battle ends. Yeah. If Sleep and Freeze are like the same, except Freeze can last longer or be shorter, it's like kind of the same deal. They just can't do anything. And apparently, as we learned in... Was it the last... The episode? I think it was the episode before that. Episode, like I said, before. Um, sleep and Freeze are actually better for catching Pokemon than Burn, Poison, and Paralyze. They don't last forever, though. Burn, Poison, and Paralyze, you only have to do them once and they won't recover from it. We're talking about wild Pokemon, of course. Wait, I didn't even read that. Poison Pokemon's health still- Yeah, it's- Of course. It's just poison. Paralyze. Could make a mo Pokemon moves misfire. I wonder if- If the game is providing incorrect information there, where it just didn't mention that Paralyze slows is, and instead put that in burn. And I am now running with misinformation because the game lied to me. No, oh, I am in Viridian City, aren't I? This is a Viridian gym, because it's empty. Yeah, ugh. I made the joke in everything. This is why I'm terrible. Oh, yes, I do wonder who the leader is. He is so mysterious. Trainer tips. Oh, boy. Catch Pokemon and expand your collection. The more you have, the easier it is to fight. It'd be like if in Street Fighter you had another character you could switch to after you lose. Easier to fight. Alright. <laughs> yeah, Pew Pewter City. Let's go. We're on, the, uh, we're on the road to Pewter City. We'll meet our friends along the way. 
And by our friends, I mean Caterpie, because you gotta get that sweet, sweet... I guess I'll get sleep powder. Um, oh, who do I want to front here? I could throw Spiro in the front, but I don't think I'm going to keep Spiro in my team. Um, the sooner I get a, like, flying type attack with Pidgey, the better. Although I think you get Peck with, uh... That, might have, that must have been future games, because I think Nidoran would have already have, had Peck. Yes, I got a rat, so I have it with me. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, miss. Oh, let's get a Pikachu. I might... I might need to buy no more Pokeballs. Pikachu has a... I feel like a fairly high or low catch rate. Like, it's harder to catch him than it is to catch, like, Weedle. Caterpie. Yeah, you gotta catch a Caterpie, you know. A... Not a Metapod, because uh, I'll be missing out on Tackle and String Shot. Ugh. Oh, God forbid if I miss out on String Shot. Because God knows how many status moves I use. I'm gonna have to go back to a Pokemon Center to grab him, but... Uh, nope. No names. No nicknames. Okay. Yeah. Got that Pokeball. I don't need to go back for more Pokeballs. I got plenty of Pokeballs now. Trinitin? For poison, use Antidote. That was just an ad. Literally just an ad. Oh god. That's not even the level that he evolves! What is this? Oh, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I thought I was gonna do way less damage. I'm gonna pop the pushover. Actually, I wonder. How strong is. Let's put these two together. I think Spiro has more attack than Pidgey. Oh, I can't just go one one to the other. Oh my god. Quality of life is so low. That's something to know, actually. In this generation, there's no special defense and special attack. It's just special. It's in one stat. It's weird. So that's what makes... What's his name? Dang it. Gyarados. So cool. Because he's... He has good special. He, he has good special de defense nowadays. Because he had good special in this generation. Which made him... Like his water attacks actually deal damage. Because it was before the special physical split. Ugh, Generation 1 is so wacky. Also, this music cutting in and out is really wacky, too. I don't know why it does it on the screen. Uh, but okay, so I think their attack was the same. But Spiro was way faster. Yeah. Attack is the same, but his defense is lower, his speed is higher, his special is a point lower. Um, that's interesting. I mean, only a little bit, because <laughs> they're level ten, level ten and nine, so who cares, really? <laughs> that's a trap. Yeah, a Pokeball. Oh no! You should always carry extra. And when they added. Premier Balls, I was like, oh no, I ran out of Pokeballs, but at least I still have a few Premier Balls left. I better go back to a Pokemart. Alright, oh yeah, these guys don't have names yet. It's just Bug Catcher. 
Um, you know what? Maybe I should be using I should be using Bulbasaur so I can get a Grass type move so I can beat Brock more easily. That's what I should be doing. Now it'll show you how much uh, your stats go up per level in this one. It'll show you the stats. I do... Nowadays, I actually play in set mode a lot instead of Switch. Because it, I kind of got accustomed to it while playing... Um, I guess competitive against my friends and the Battle Frontier. You get accustomed to using the set mode. And I think it adds it adds a little bit more of a challenge because instead of just switching to a Pokemon that has a super effective attack, you have to just use the Pokemon you have on you or waste a turn. Should I bother with Beedrill? I mean, he is effectively the only Pokemon that has a decent, super effective move against... ...against Psychic types. But then Psychic types are super effective against him and faster, so who cares? Nobody. Nobody cares about Beedrill. Beedrill's sweet. I don't know what I'm talking about. Hey. I won't catch my Pokemon. Why aren't I getting any wild battles? Come on. You could do it. You went through that whole grass valley wild battles. Whatever. Can't jam out if you're. Did I read that wrong? It doesn't make sense. I can totally jam out if I'm a Pokemon trainer. Maybe he means like you can't. Escape battle. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, Bulbasaur doesn't deal a ton of damage. But his defense, man. Ugh. And once I get a grass attack, except not against this guy, it's gonna deal like no damage. Wait! What did he just use that was not very effective? I wasn't paying enough attention. No, I'm not gonna switch. Did he use Poison Sting and it wasn't very effective? Point is Poison Type not very effective against... Or like, regular effective against the uh, Grass Types in this game? That was another thing I feel like I remember. Like, in the back of my head I felt like there was a... Poison was super effective against Bug Types or something. Like. I don't know if I ever just made that up, or that was ever a thing. I, I'm going to say this a thousand times during this playthrough, but Generation 1 is weird. Oh yeah, that has a lot of experience. No, I don't need to change Pokemon. Let's find out, let's find out what that move he was using that was not very effective was. Yeah, Poison Sting. Not very effective. So it's just regularly effective against... Grass types. Is Bulbasaur even a Poison type yet? Cause I feel like most of the time, uh... Starter Pokemon just start out as... Their base type. Start Pokemon Bulbasaur. Yeah, okay, he is Grass Poison. Yeah, I feel like I should have known that, but I mean, I want to make sure. Can you can't get poisoned as a Poison type? I don't remember if that's a thing in this game. There is a lot of weird stuff. Um. 
All right, I'm gonna go back and get my Caterpie. I, I'm gonna... This is gonna be the end of this episode. So... Thank you all so much for watching. Bye.